And if you're a 3D artist, you probably must have gotten entangled with making materials, texturing your models, or even finding a way to fine tune a texture at one point or the other. And as much as we have all these amazing tools available to us, sometimes they're just not enough. It is either they lack a node system for procedural texturing, or they are outrightly complicated in terms of dealing with the most simplest of tasks. But this might soon change, introducing Instant Math. Made by Abstract, the folks behind the famous Insta LOD, which has become an industry-leading 3D optimization solution, which exists as both a cross-platform pipeline and also an SDK for Mac and Windows. Available to all Autodesk products, Blender, Unity, and Unreal Engine, alongside their team-centric LOD cloud, which enables developers and content creators to utilize their web app to upload, view, and process their 3D data right from the browser. And after five years of R&D, meticulous development, they've just recently announced that Instamat, which is to be considered as the industry's first solution that empowers studios and professionals to build scalable content, achieve substantial results in no time, from asset texturing using layers and 3D painting workflow, AI enhancement and assisted operations, sophisticated 2D image processing algorithms, procedural texturing, modeling, and a lot more will be available worldwide in the coming days. In fact, this tool is slated to be released on the 24th of January 2024. And for those who like to read up on all of this, then you can come over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can sign up for an early access. It's super interesting to see what this tool is going to bring to the table as we've actually played with a lot of texturing tools over time. Instamat is set to be poised to redefine what is possible with 3D content creation as it promises to deliver and provide access to workflows which were either split or previously considered as unattainable. And that right there is a big claim. So whether you're creating procedural graph-based geometry processing pipeline or texturing stunning 3D materials using artistic layering method, Instamat promises to let you realize your vision in a well thought out and completely scalable workflow that integrates data, image, and mesh processing all at once, which brings about a quick result saving time for content and material creation with a low cost threshold with an interesting set of material and content creation tool for example unlike the basic click and dragging of a particular node for making one specific thing which of course also exists in this tool they have provided an open visual programming system similar to mari called atom so what is atom you might ask well an Atom is a fundamental image processing node that is used as a building block when designing your materials or images. Now, this can be strung together like every other basic node that you have to create beautiful materials. The Atom graph is considered to be the visual programming mode for making materials on the app. And the Atom graph also has a control flow which determines how the Atom gets to be executed. And this is very similar to what you have with programming languages like C or C++. Atom graphs and the fact that they are programming language like, this means that nodes can be built, instanced, encapsulated, and can be called up as class feature functions for use in complex ray tracing and rendering tasks. And by the way, if you go over to the website, there's a whole lot of things that you can find. Now we did mention that this is offering some amazing layering stuff, you know, some texturing, some procedural things, really cool stuff. Scrolling all the way down, here says something that caught my interest. It says beyond image, geometry nodes. So you can design procedural meshes and point clouds with Instasmart's exhaustive geometry node library. Unlock groundbreaking material workflow by combining image and geometry nodes in the same environment. And this is also something I'm very, very interested in seeing. At the same time, this also talks about how you can quickly turn conventional photos into stunning procedural materials that opens up a plethora of possibilities, from limitless variations using image synthesis to adding procedural depth or dust. Like we mentioned earlier as well, there is a creative AI and image synthesis, which I believe will be used for AI enhancement and assisted operation. As this also mentioned, that the Instant Math will ship with an AI and analytical synthesis technology that is capable of performing sophisticated image processing such as style transfer, super resolution and in painting. So lots of things are coming to this. There is also talks about a delicate GPU baking and I believe this is going to be coming with some tools like add-ons which you can use to do quick deployments to DCZ app as it's mentioned here. 
And going by the announcement video, there's a couple more features to be expecting with the release of Instamark. The Mesh Mask Builder is one of those tools that will be coming and I think this will be super useful for those who like to play with masks. Probably this will give you more options of how to manipulate your mask. There's the Smart Prefab Layer Materials, which is also super useful. So what this means is at any time you can create materials or create a stack of layers and save them as prefabs which you can use when texturing another object instead of reinventing the wheel over time. Layers can be instanced, which I kind of believe means that you can instance layers from previous projects. Decals is definitely one of those things that we would love to see. The Mesh Volume Mask is also another interesting mask instead of tool that will be existing. More so, you can also bake and do some UV unwrapping by simply using nodes. And this is very, very useful. So from voxelizing a simple mesh to creating UVs of that mesh, this looks really good. The fact that you can bring in a mesh and do all of this right within the node is exceptionally nice. Udim workflow is coming with this too. There's a control flow system. If you're thinking about exploring with point clouds as well, this is something that you can do. And if you're working with point clouds or you like to scatter stuff, there is a geometry scatter that is also available. Now this can be used for either texturing or scattering geometries. There's also an included feature which deals with animating of materials. Now recently we did see this come over to the UCU painter, which is a free blender add-on that you can use. And having this in an app like this will definitely be very cool. In terms of working with atlases and also materials, there's a lot of effects in that regard. There's also a ton of nodes that has to do with UVs and also rendering. There seems to be a ray tracing renderer that exists with this. It also promises to come with some mesh tools which can be used for mesh noises. And for those who are into CSGs, you can also do some CSGs mesh operations with it. They also tease the fact that direct GPU profiling will be coming and there is a C++ SDK which will be coming with this too. So, lots of amazing things will be coming to this tool, and I can't wait to try this myself. And upon the time of release, the folks at Abstract are saying that this would ship with the library containing thousands of nodes and a thousand AAA quality 3D materials crafted by Abstract's in-house material artists. More so, they're also looking at launching an online library, allowing users to download and share their creation how they choose. And this is pretty similar to what we have with Substance Share. So for those who have no idea, you can definitely go over to Substance Share, where you can download interesting Substance resources and also share yours as well. And I would love to see the online library be integrated integrated in the app, just like what we have with Mamoset Toolbag, which simply allows you to download whatever you want directly in the app and get on with it without leaving the app to download and import it right in. And honestly, this sounds exciting, as for the very first time in a while, it would be very good to see an alternative tool to tools like Mari and potentially Substance Designer, Substance Painter, Keyshot, and all of that, because going by the tools that we currently have access to, we basically either have a tool for making materials or we have a tool for texturing and sometimes it is pretty interesting to see tools that either gives you options to create these materials yourself and then you can do some texture but 90% of the time excluding Mari and Keyshot in this equation we basically have only tools that gives you options to make these textures or gives you options to do the texturing without giving you the options of creating these graph nodes procedurally so it's going to be very interesting to see this come to light and see all of the things that it can offer Currently, this is set to be available for the most popular DCC apps, which includes Maya, 3D Studio Max, Blender, Unity, and Unreal Engine. So tools like this are surely one of those ones that I would love to see and explore it. And for those who like to see or catch up with this, then you can definitely go over to the link in the description and see this one for yourself. Instamath from the folks at Abstract is coming and this promises to deliver sophisticated 2D image processing algorithms, procedural texturing and some sense of modeling, traditional texturing using layers and 3D painting workflows and AI enhancement and assisted set of operations and a whole lot more. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.